Hey guys, Brian from Snow Walker Bushcraft and back with another installment of Shadows in the Forest this year for 2016. We've had a lot of requests to uh, continue the series, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. Little update, it's been quite busy uh, for 2016 already. I've been to the School of the Long Hunter, I've been to Fort Frederick's Market Square, or Market Fair, and uh, I've also been to um, Martin Station already. Sorry, I had a little bit of a brain cramp. Uh, a lot of people like the series. I want to keep it going. Uh, project videos. Uh, people want me to do more project videos, and I don't have a problem with doing that. Problem is, is that they take time. And if you're going to do something right, and if you're going to instruct somebody on how to make something, sometimes it takes more than one seven-minute video, uh, which is what YouTube tells me that that's the average attention span of most viewers are. I don't know if you want to watch. If you want to actually learn something probably want to sit down and take a little bit more time while you're watching a video. Anyway, <clears throat> new gear. I've acquired a couple of new pieces of gear. Uh, I'm going to show you two of them today so then that way at least uh, you'll get another idea of what you're looking for um, when you're doing some of your reenactments or gear that maybe you want to look to uh, people who make these items. Uh, one of them is a is a new smooth rifle that I have, and also a knife. Oh, we got a breaking action from the wind. Let's talk about some of the new gear I got. This is uh, this is a long time coming uh, on this piece of gear, and it was actually it was given to me by one of my subscribers, um, Chase Wilder. He runs Wilder Forge, and I'll put a link on to his page in the description. So here you have the knife right there. The uh, the overall dimensions on the knife are about 11 and a half inches long. I sent Chase a picture, uh, and I said, "Could you make this knife?" And it was a uh, a picture that I had found in one of my reference books. I can't remember which one it was, uh, but I sent it to him, and I asked him if he could recreate that as much as possible, and he did. He sent me the pictures uh, as it was being produced. He hand forged the entire knife uh, he did the scales in curly maple um, he had those on hand so he did that and the knife is made from 1095 carbon I believe it is um, this spine is a lot thicker than what would probably have been used and I do say probably because examples although we do have some examples we don't have all the examples so could it have been thicker? Possibly. Would they have been? Don't really know yet. But anyway, for my own personal reasons, I just wanted Chase to make it a little bit thicker. I know that sometimes a little bit hard on some things. Other than that, this knife uh, has gone to uh, the Winter Trek, and uh, it came out shining. Okay, couldn't ask for anything uh, better from Chase to uh, to actually make something like that it's a uh, it's a great piece of work a piece of craftsmanship from chase wilder at water forge <laughs> this is a 54 caliber smooth rifle. It was made by Larry Zorn in Ohio. Uh, Larry made uh, Dora, which is my 62 caliber, and uh, I wanted another gun, so I elected to go with a smooth rifle. So right now I'm going to introduce you to Donna Joy. As I said, she's a 54 caliber uh, smooth rifle, and it is made in the Jacob Doves pattern. He was a Bucks County gunsmith. As you can see here, it does have rifle sights in the back. However, the reason it is known as a smooth rifle is because there is no rifling on the inside of the barrel. Therefore, it is smooth. The scroll work in the brass that Larry did on the side plate, the scroll work on the trigger guard, and on the butt plate as well. The wood in the furniture is of curly maple. And it's just finished off with true wax. 
So I've already talked to Steve Davis about this. And you know, the greatest thing about when you get a new gun is you get to make a new kit to go along with that gun. And I've already gotten a couple of pieces uh, to go along with it. Uh, I do have a, another horn that I could use, and I do have a bag, except I want to make these things. So that's going to lead into more projects for Shadows in the Forest this year. But again, projects do take some time, so you have to give a little bit of leeway in there while I'm doing these videos. Let's take a look at some of those uh, items that I already have for it now. We have a penny knife that was done by Randy Wolf. We would have Larry Callahan bag mold right there. That's a 5-3 ball, of course. And then we have this folding lead ladle. Now let's take a closer look at this. The reason why I like this lead ladle so much is because it does fold up very small and it's very compact. And then we go just like that. And then there it is. Put the stick right through here and we're good to go. You're going to see in a video uh, that I shot with Wallace Gussler having a discussion and he talks about the size of the bags that most guys were carrying back then and the size of the bags that they're carrying now. My reasoning for going as small as I possibly can is because he believes that they were actually much smaller and the bag that he shows is a seven by seven and a half or maybe eight inch bag. That's what they carried that's on the average, at least what he believes. That's one of my reasons to um, go at smaller gear to put inside the bag. So we're gonna, when we actually do the video for the bag, we're gonna make a smaller bag, not one that's as big as the, the one that I carry now. Just some food for thought, gives you more options. So anyway, that is Donna Joy. 54 caliber smooth rifle made by Larry Zorns in Ohio. Uh, I'll put his phone number in the description and um, you can get in touch with him if you want to talk to him about any type of gun that he manufactures and that he makes. He's a true craftsman. He's a great guy to talk to. Thanks for another episode of Shadows in the Forest. Till the next one, walk the woods.